Oh shit, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Beaver. Today we have another story time video and, and today we're gonna be talking about my first real fight. In my opinion, my first real fight. But can we give a round of applause for this freaking camera right now? This shit is dope. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Kind of feel bad for you guys because you have to look at my ugly, ugly mug, but it is what it is. So my first real fight, all right? We're gonna talk about this, how to get real. So I was in high school. I think I was a sophomore, maybe even a senior. I don't even know. But first real fight with a dude. We went, you know, went to blows. But anyway, so my buddy and I, we were uh, we were skipping skipping class to do some other extracurricular activities, and we were coming back. For the record, I only needed two credits to finish high school. My last there was senior year because <clears throat> I was taking pottery. And I didn't need, I needed pottery and the humanities. And that was the only thing I needed to graduate. So I was pretty much just fucking off all senior year. Um, had a lot of work, work comp time. I go to, go to work Jeez. as my class. But anyway, so we were skipping class and then we, we came back and I was trying to I think finish the last half of my pottery class. And so me and him are walking through the hallway. You know, we're kind of, inebriated from our um, after school activities during school. Anyway, so I see this dude walking, right? And this was like right after Jackass came out. So he had this huge patch like of hair missing in the back of his head. And he was walking with his girlfriend. I was like, dude, I, oh, I yelled. I thought I was being funny, but I was like, dude, what happened? You get in a fight with a lawnmower? He didn't turn around. Again, I thought I was being funny. So I was like, maybe he didn't hear me. Maybe he didn't hear me, camera. Let me say it again. I was like, hey man, did you get in a fight with the Walmart? He was like, didn't acknowledge it, you know? And I was done, I didn't say anything else. But then his girl decided to voice her opinion. She turned around and he's like, he just got out of a coma. What is wrong with you? You're a sick person for even joking about that, you know? This, all, this whole sob story. And I was like, oh, hey, my bad, man. I was just trying to be funny, I was like, just like, you know, jackass prank. I, I thought someone, you know, got you, took some clippers to your dome. And yeah, that wasn't the case. She kind of kept on running her mouth and he was, you know, looking at me and turned around. And he didn't say a word the whole time. And I seen this kid through like passing, but I never talked to him, never had beef with him or anyone really for that matter in high school. But so, <laughs> so basically, you know, whatever. I, I said I'm sorry multiple times. I was like, look, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't know you. You know, just got out of surgery. You were, in, you were in a coma or whatever. That's insensitive of me. My bad. You know, I'm sorry. And again, this whole time, this man doesn't say a word to me. He didn't even look that mad either. That's that's one thing I thought was kind of weird. But anyway, so Cameron and I, we go into our um, um, pottery class and we're chilling there, and and whatever. You know, pottery's going by, and I'm I'm sitting there, and all these people like texting me and. You know, or reading texts and they're like, dude, that guy wants to fight you. You know, fucking Jordan wants to fight you. Like, what? Why? Why? He didn't even say a word, man. Like, I mean, it was this girl that was mad. So the whole time I'm thinking, man, this chick was probably like all up in his ear, you know, like, you're, you're a freaking bitch if you don't, you don't do anything about it. Anyway, and I'm like, whatever. I'm hoping it's all smoke because I meant nothing by it. Whatever. I mean, if he wants to throw down, we can. But I mean, that. I never had beef with anyone in high school, really. So, anyway, so I had my sweatshirt off just in case, right? When I was leaving class, and maybe that's why this happened. I should have kept the sweatshirt on, but I was trying to be prepared, like a good boy scout. Anyway, so I, I come out the hallway or into the hallway, and who's the first person I see? The only person in the hallway, actually. Like everyone else is leaving, you know, their classrooms and like you know, funneling in the main <laughs> line, and he's just like at the end of the hallway, just chilling. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, this shit's real. So I'm sitting there, and my, my buddies and stuff, and my friends are behind me. And, Fuck, man, I, I ain't trying to do this today. Like, I'm just I'm just recovering from the period that I took off, you know? And anyway, so he gets in my face, and he, he pushes me, and I'm like, dude, I, I'm i sorry. I said I'm sorry. Like, I have no, no problems with you, you know? I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings or whatever, like... 
anyway, so he pushed me the first time and I was like, look, I said, I'm sorry. I only can say it so many times. You didn't say anything in the hallway. I didn't even think you were that mad. And they pushed me again. And I was like, look, bro, you pushed me again. We're having some fucking problems. So I was kind of hoping at that point he would you know, just be, be done with it. And so he went to push me again and shit, I already committed. I already said what I was going to do. I, I ain't no liar. So, <laughs> so I, I was like, all right, I'm going to drop this fool right off the bat. So I cocked back. And I mean, it must have must have been slow motion to this man because I cocked back and I'm about to hit him with the business. And I'm talking. This man was like, "It man, he just went Shh. fucking." I, I went right by him, like I wasn't even close. And I was like, "Oh shit, this isn't going well." And then like a second later, this man just came up and fucking clocked me right in my eye. Like no defense. I didn't bother it, nothing. I mean, it was just boom, like real quick and. So the needless to say at this point, it's not really going in my favor. And <laughs> so I just went to what I know best. I'm like, shit, I'm, I'm getting beat up top here. So you know, I play football or whatever. I, I just took him to the ground. I weighed more than him. I was stronger than him. So I just double took took him down to the ground, wedged him up against the locker, got on top of him, started dropping. Well, I started punching him at first, but I was so close that it really wasn't doing anything. So then I just started dropping elbows, you know, to the back of his head and whatnot. And yeah, that was that. We got pulled off, you know, maybe 30 seconds after first, like, my punch was thrown. So what's crazy is, like, background story after this. So the man was in a coma, right? And he had, like, surgery or whatever. That's why he had his, you know, he had brain surgery, basically, right? The reason he had brain surgery was because this man got in an ATV accident, which I ride dirt bikes, by the way, but... He, he got an ATV accident and he wasn't wearing a helmet. So he, he like jumps, you know, or whatever he did and fell and like, you know, split his, split his wig and, and had to, you know, go to the hospital. And anyway, so the, all I could think about was this man just went to the hospital for a head injury and he wants to fucking go to blows with someone, you know, especially someone that was bigger than him. Like he was taller than me, but I, I was way, like bigger than the dude. Anyway. And after that, it was, I threw the first punch, even though I missed. So I got two weeks uh, suspension, and he got one week, which I thought was bullshit. And yeah, and then he tried to be buddy buddy with me afterwards, and I like, tried and sell me things, and yeah, pretty much it. But drop a like, new camera, quality looks great. Um, a bit more videos to come. Again, I apologize. This is what I look like, guys. It is what it is. Don't dislike it because of my face. I can't. I can't change that. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, uh, drop a like, and comment below if there's a specific story you guys want me to tell you for the story time series. Chances are, I've probably had an experience with or without it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've had almost all story genres. So. That was my first one was the drunk story and then the second one was the uh, my fight story. So let me know in the comments below guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.